Hey family, yesterday was Good Friday. And since then I've been thinking. Because I was thinking, well, what, when he died, we know what happened, the crucifixion, and he died, and he rose on the third day. But what, what's the in-between time of that? We know that the veil was torn. We know that um, there was darkness for a span of like three hours. We've heard that um, people saw their loved ones walking around, their deceased loved ones walking around. We know that the, the earth shook, earthquake. I believe during that time, that God had to turn his back on his word. And Jesus was his word. That's why Jesus said, Father, why have thou forsaken me? Because now Jesus has really become like a man. Because he had to he had to give up his power not, not to die. He had to give up his power because God is eternal. So how can God die? The father had to separate himself from the word. From God's word. From, the, from his body. Because at that moment Jesus gave up his power for us. And when that veil was torn, that destroyed the barrier, the partition that had been between us and the Father. Because in those times, we had prophets, and the prophets said what thus said the Lord. The prophets went, went, went to the people and, and told them what the people what what he would what God had said. So, and then we know the earthquake and and and, and the the dead was walking around, and we've heard that when he when he died he went to hell and he took the keys of hell and damnation in the grave from the from Satan. God is a God of order, so he could have just came and took the keys. He could have just came and deboed. But he's not that type of God. That kind of God. He's an all-knowing God. So he knows what he's doing. And he, he does everything in, in decency and in order. Right? That's why he gives us a free will to choose him. Or to deny him. To love him or to hate him. To believe in him or not to believe in him. He, he could come and just say, everybody believe in me, be like robots, but he don't want that. So to be legal, he came in a body because he had never died. He had never experienced death because he has always been. So the only way that he could die and go where the dead is, is that he had to die. And he had to give up his power to die. Oh, that's good to me. So when he, when, when the earth shook, it was, it was shaking up hell. And, 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 and when he went to hell, wherever he is, is life. Because now he's not, he's not, in the body, he's he's spiritual again. He's the spirit again because he, he's died, but he had to have power to rise again, right? So he 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 claimed his power back. And when he was in hell, those that was dead, they got up because his sheep hear his voice and they follow him. So that is why. It's documented that people said that they saw their deceased loved ones walking around. 
and doing all of that sometimes you think of everything that he went through the beatings the spitting on and all of that he could have he could have uh, destroyed every one of them his accusers he, every one of them but he's a God of order and he saw me just like he looked back when he was denied three times can you imagine how that felt from the person that denied him but I saw him looking in my eyes when he was going through all of that when they stripped him because you got to make it personal because it is personal when they stripped him he saw these eyes when they was beating him when they put the crown of thorn on him he saw these eyes he saw this face and he said I love you the love I have for you this ain't nothing because when this is over, I have all power in heaven, earth, and beneath, and all around. I have power that you will never see death. And not only that, when Jesus did ascend back to the Father, he sent the Spirit of God to seal me with that power that I should never die and I should have eternal life. And that's not being cocky. That's having faith. That's believing. That's being filled with His Spirit. Make it personal because it is personal. Make it personal it's you. We, are, we, we, we say, you know, we want to be correct and say us. And, you know, but I'm, I'm saying me. Because my relationship with God is personal. And when it's time to give account, I have to give account for Anjanette. You have to give account for you. So make it personal. When he was going through that, he already seen you. He's all knowing. And he said, you was worth it. He said, I am worth it. That just makes me want to serve him even the more. That just makes me know that I'm never going back. I'm never going back to that. That lets me know that I have power. You have the power that your faith has. Be it according to your faith. We need to start casting out demons, raising the dead, healing the sick. We have that power. It's according to our faith. God bless.